Hey there, art fans. Got an art supply unboxing for you. 17 pounds worth of art supplies. But first, I gotta show you this. It says, must open within 48 hours. I have never seen that on a box before, so I'm not sure exactly what that means, but made a big uh, purchase of Jerry's Artorama. About $230 worth of art supplies. Probably most of that 17 pounds is taken up by paper. So I got a bit of some pads of paper. Let's see what we got here. Open the box. We got some padding. And we got some pads of paper. First bit, let's see. This is 9 by 12. I do a lot of my um a lot of my 6 by 9 inch drawings are this paper cut in half. So I do a lot a lot of uh, drawing on this paper. You know what's you know what's strange? I um I sometimes see it like I always draw on good paper. I see a lot of artists, like professional artists, like drawing like typing paper or printer paper. And I'm like, how do you do how can you do that? Why don't you just draw on some nice drawing paper? That's what they're used to. So I got I've stocked up on this, got six 20 sheets a piece, so 120 sheets of 9 by 12 paper. And then the other paper I got is same paper, but this is the 11 by 17. I usually, um, pardon me, the 14 by 17. I cut it down to 11 by 17, and then I cut the side pieces into these little, let's see if I can grab one from here, whoops. This this comes out like I get three of these out of out of the side of the eleven by seventeen. So these are baseball card size art card paper that I uh, that I draw on. So all stocked up for paper. I think I got two more of those still that size. So I got good eleven by seventeen paper. And let's oh, this is a freebie they sent in a Jerry's Artorama collapsible water bottle. Okay, that's one of their things they're giving away. Let's see what else we got here. Sometimes I, I like to like throw stuff. I get the stuff that I get all the time and I like to throw stuff in too to see uh, what I could possible. There's another bit of that. Like this was a throw in. Soho Artists Metallic Watercolor Pan Set. That was uh, I think 10 or 12 bucks. I, I, I was not a big watercolor guy. I prefer gouache which is a watercolor with white in it. But I, I've never had metallic watercolors. So I was like, you know, for 10 bucks, I'll try out some metallic watercolors. Why not? Then we've got, uh, let's see. This is another, this is like 2 or $3. Universal mixed media pad, 26 by 8 pages. Uh, just on sale to try out. Why? Like I said, I'm, I'm always willing to try stuff. So I'm going to try, I got a couple of different pads, like here's a um, Stonehenge Legion pad. Once again, this is a small, little off-white paper here that looks like there's a series, a bunch of different off-whites. Once again, this was only a few bucks. I can't even remember, it was like three, four, under five dollars for this pad, so it was like 15 sheets. Uh, five by seven inches, 250 grams per square meter. GSM, is that what that is? We're gonna try some of that out. We got another one here. Artfinity Synthesis. Oh, this is the synthetic paper. So this is a plastic paper. It's so again, under $5, uh, 200 GSM, white, acid-free, designed for watercolors, alcohol, ink, acrylic paper. Let me give this a try. I actually have a pad, like a, a big, like a 11 by 14 pad of some kind of plastic paper that I've had for about a decade that I still haven't tried yet. So maybe I'll try the little stuff. I don't know why I never tried out that paper. It's still sitting in my pads. Ah, then we've got Copic refills. I'm always uh, V95 light green. This is one, you know, ha ha I have to go with my uh, marker set, so whenever I'm out of a refill, I, or whenever I'm getting near out of a refill, I order some more refills. And they, so there's light grape. These are the refills they made smaller. Then here's a, here's what the refills used to look like. 
and that's what they look like. These ones are 25 uh, milliliters ml, and these are now 12, so they're less than half the size, and that's really annoying to me because they're the same price, and you have to buy them twice as often. But we got pine tree green, rose red, and Nile green. So those are the three I'm running out with over there. So got to get some more uh, some more refills going. Always got to make sure those Copics are filled up. And what else? Oh, here here's something I got. What do we have in here? We've got, these are two empty Copic markers. So there's no ink in these. Uh, what I actually want to try with these is I want to try, I bought some of it. I buy these all the time. These are Ultra Draw Rapidograph ink. So this is an India ink. Except what makes it different is that it's India ink with glycerin in it. And glycerin is a surface tension breaker. And so the, this is made for like going in technical pens and stuff that has like a really um, small hole at the end. So with the glycerin in it to break the surface tension, it flows better than regular India ink that just has water in it. So I actually wanted to try, and I, and I refill regular markers with these. Like all these, these markers I use all the time, these sign pens, you pull off the back, you pull out the sponge and you, ref you refill it with this ink and you get much better ink in your markers. Um, so I actually wanted to try using this ink in a, in a Copic marker. I, I've never tried that, but I filled, up, I filled up Copic markers with other inks and they work to, they, they, they work to different uh, grades of working, I guess. But I've never tried it with this ink. So I, and and um, and the empty Kovic markers are the same price as the full ones, like six, seven bucks. So I got a couple of those. You know, I, just because I had, I, I figured I'm only going to fill one right now, but the other I'll fill another. I've actually mixed my own Copic inks too for some colors. Like I mixed three parts of this ink with one part of that ink and put them in an empty marker. So I've, I've actually mixed my own Copic inks. But... Uh, those are good to go. Let's see what else we got. You probably got a bunch of... Oh, two other... There's one other Copic. There's a Copic marker in here. Let me untie this knot because um, I think mine was wearing... Yeah, the, the markers, you can... Add, like I said, you can re... If they dry out, you refill them with ink. You can replace the tip. But the one thing you can't do is fix it once the cap goes. And... You can tell the cap's going when you can spin it. Like right here, there's no there's no play in that cap. When the cap's going, there's play in the cap. And this is BV11 Soft Violet. So my Soft Violet, the cap must be going. And once the cap doesn't seal anymore, the marker dries out and it's just over for... Matter of fact, I have a, I have a whole bag full. Whoops. Whoops, something fell over there. But I have a whole bag full of worn out Copic marker. The, the caps don't work. I have to throw these out. I don't know why I haven't yet. For some reason I haven't brought myself to throw them out, but I will. And here I'm just, trying, it's a Sharpie brush marker. I've never tried out one of these before, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try out a Sharpie brush marker. Just throw that back in there, along with these markers. We'll put them all in this bag so they don't roll away. Uh, then we have, what is this? A Koi water brush. Oh, this is one of those, you can fill it, you got, there's a top and a bottom there. That's like an artificial brush, but you can fill it with water and then kind of activate watercolor with it. So I've never, I've never tried one of these. I figured I'll try it. It's just a couple bucks, nothing expensive. Uh, all this nothing expensive adds up, doesn't it? <laughs> then we've got, what is, oh, this must be, ooh, here's a couple of our, uh, I ordered a bunch of brush. So I, I like to try out these different, um, they're usually four or five dollar brushes. They're the synthetic ones, so they're cheaper. So I usually when I order, I, I try out a couple of new synthetic brushes just to see, just because I'm looking for the really good ones. Meanwhile, 
Is that a long handle? Oh, that, oh, that's this is the expensive brush. This is a Creative Mark uh, Sable brush. And it's kind of number three. It's the equivalent of, say, like brushes that inkers and comic books use, like a Winsor Newton Series 7 brush are sort of the most expensive watercolor brushes, and they've been used in comic inking since they were invented in like the 50s. And this is like the equivalent of that. I bought one of these uh, last year and really liked it and said, oh, I should get another one. And the, the price is like... The prices have gone up on these brushes. Like I think this, I just saw the Series Seven was at thirty dollars for this brush, and just like three months ago, I was like, I bought this brush last year for twenty dollars. Then it went up to thirty dollars. Now it's back down to twenty dollars. So I spent twenty dollars on this brush. So uh, we'll give that one a try. And it looks like here's another. Here, here here's another uh, of these cheap synthetic brushes. I got three different ones. A four, a two, and a two, yeah. So I got got the cheap synthetic ones, got the expensive good ones. We'll see how those all work out. Let's see what else do I have here. I've got... They must have thrown this in, because I don't remember ordering a Tombow brush pen. I'm going to have to see, because I, I think I've tried these before. You, I've tried these in the 90s. I haven't had, tried one since, but there's a Tombro Blue, oh, free sample marker, not for resale. There we go. That's why it's there. It's a free sample marker. They threw that one in for me. And then we got, um, oh, I tried this Higgins, Higgins Black Magic ink marker. Higgins Black Agit Magic is a brand of um, ink, of India ink. So I think this is an actual India ink marker. So I wanted to give it a try, and we'll see how that one goes. And what else do we have? Oh, we bought, here's another, a Strathmore Long Skinny. This one, they really wrapped this one up. Uh, sketchbook, Long Skinny Sketchbook. Once again, this one was a water watercolor travel pad. This one wasn't too expensive, under $5, so I figured I'd, I'd try this one out. 12 sheets of watercolor paper. Give that one a try, see how it is. Let's see what else we got. One more thing here. And it's my Creative Inspirations three black watercolor brush pins. Let's see what one looks like. The lid's coming open anyway. There we go. So again, these were just to try out. They're, I think it was like 10 bucks for the three of them. There we go, there's the brush pen. I'm, I'm always trying out brush pens. They're never as good as actual brushes. I sometimes I, I know a, a lot of like younger comic book artists and things swear by brush pens because th that's what they were raised with and they're convenient, um, but they're never as good. You can do more. You can do way more with one of these than you can with any brush pen, just because that's the way. You know, with, with brush pens, it's all about convenience because it's a. Uh, pen you can put it in your pocket and go somewhere but I'm, I'm rarely going somewhere and doing that kind of work so I, I much prefer and I always try these out and kind of like them and then when I need to do some brush and ink work I get a real brush that's that's but I still love to try out the brush pens you know, I love to try out the actual brushes too because I got these synthetic ones here all right so there you go oops looks like my watercolor fell on the ground when that stuff fell off my shelf. We... We opened it within 48 hours. So it did not turn into a pumpkin. There you go. That's what, what did I say? $230 worth of art supplies looks like from Jerry's Artorama. And you guys have a good week out there.